how is it going guys tech here and mac os cinema is out so let's test out what's new and how it does with its developer beta so this is an official developer beta made free by apple themselves and the public beta will be out around in july i do not recommend installing this developer beta on your main device because it can cause possible issues or damage to your device or data so yeah but if you still want to try it make sure you do a backup first all right so let's get into the details and dive into its biggest changes and features exclusive to mac because some features are also available in ios and ipadOS 17. so this was almost six kicks for my base m2 macbook air so let's start with the lock screen so they have moved user at the top and time at the bottom perfectly perpendicular and i think it kind of looks like an ipad lock screen but with new and clean lock and unlock animations all right so this is quite similar to ipadOS 17's lock screen live wallpaper but still different because on mac these wallpapers have a slow motion video going on in a loop in the lock screen and as screen saver but ipads have just a few second clips on the lock screen that stops after a few seconds and does not go into loop we have various varieties of live wallpapers for mac ranging from landscapes cityscapes underwater and earth right now we have a few in these categories might get added more in future updates though it was kind of hilarious how we have been wanting some features and apple bringing new screen savers lol for that though i really like the way mac looks when it starts this animation on the lock screen and the screen saver and looking it from afar this looks awesome all right so this is a pretty big update for widgets now you can place widgets on desktop and not only that you can also interact with them just like in ios and ipad os 17 and you can also add widgets directly from your iPhone without having to install the app on the Mac. And when you open any application or a window, the widgets fade into the background so that you can focus on what's in front of you and unfade as the desktop screen goes empty. There are tons of productive features with FaceTime conferencing. Now there are two new overlays, large and small. In large overlay, you can be the part of the content because when you are sharing screen, there are two separate layers, you being in front of your content, where you can also move around and walk in front of your shared screen while it being behind you and in small you can float around the shared screen in a small bubble so that you are also visible and point out some important details you can now directly share your screen for a specific application by going on the green button in the top left corner and clicking on share on facetime you can also see on your status bar in top right corner where there is a screen shared where you can also resize or have basic controls for the shared screen. You can also react or activate 3D augmented reality effects like heart, fireworks, balloons, etc. And they can also be activated with hand gestures. Now with macOS Sonoma, you can add web applications directly to your dock and use any website as an application. And you can also categorize and separate your whole browsing experience for different topics and set and apply separate extensions for them. For example, keeping university stuff under university only. But these two features only work in Safari, at least for now. All right, so this is the topic I'm most interested about in macOS Sonoma, because this is going to shape the future of gaming on a Mac. How this works is neither hard or nor very easy. It prioritizes your CPU and GPU of your Mac by lowering background tasks. This also helps with reducing latency for wireless accessories like controllers and headphones. How you can do this is you need Game Porting Toolkit and Command Line for Xcode 16 Beta. Game Toolkit is a tool that helps Windows and console developers to port their game to Meta3 Graphics API to run on macOS. And Command Line will help you execute the code and access those games. But I do not recommend this by doing yourselves if you don't have the proper knowledge. Instead, refer a tutorial. I'll try this in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Other than these features, we have privacy features that can warn you before you see any sensitive content. This works for all the applications, including third-party apps. You also have an option to blur sensitive images or videos. This will work in iMessage and third-party apps. So lockdown mode. This is some serious security feature that can even prevent cyber attacks by restricting most of the social stuff like sharing photos, etc. Okay, so here is my take on this macOS. First thing, it would have been cooler if you could add your custom videos for the lock screen and home screen to behave like what the default live wallpaper does. Then I think widgets on desktop is a good to have as an option, but I'm not too crazy about it. Cause I like to keep it clean with just the dock 
but it will certainly prove useful for someone who could control their entire house on every device. But I do not do that, so I'll pass, yeah. By the way, I don't use screensavers either. The privacy features with lockdown mode are top notch with video conferencing being super productive. But the focus on gaming is really something. Being able to play AAA title games from various developers on a Mac is quite revolutionary. We do get really cool, useful and productive features every year but the focus on gaming with this year's macOS Sonoma is really interesting. Hope this thing gets better and easier to use with time and updates. And that will be it. That's it. This is macOS Sonoma. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.